Hi, welcome to Momversations of Mimosas. I'm founder Kiara Anye. Hi guys, I'm Marie. Today we have a new panelist and introduce Hi you. guys, I'm Zakia. I am 28 and I have one daughter. She is eight. Topic is going to Happy be. birthday. Yes, my baby birthday is today. Yes, and she's here with us. I mean, I feel special. Okay. You know? <laughs> Today we are going to be discussing just the different challenges and joys about being a mom. So obviously this can be like one of the longest segments ever, but you know, how do you feel? Like what's your high? So I guess we always can, we're going to start with lows. We'll start with our lows or the challenges and then we'll end with our highs. I guess so because our last panelist was saying how she doesn't really see her the same joys as other parents. Like, mm -hmm. she enjoys going to work. Like, that's her happy place. And then when she comes home, she feels like her day sort of kind of goes downhill. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like for most moms, it's sort of kind of a reverse. You're a little sad that you have to leave your kid and go to work to provide and then come back home and still find time and energy to be, like, quote, unquote, what we consider to be a perfect mom. Sure. And I definitely I understand both sides because, I mean, I work two jobs and I am literally exhausted. And I mean, I hate going to work because I have to leave my daughter and I feel like I don't get that much time with her. Mm -hmm. But when I get home, it's just my, 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 my. <laughs> so I find myself going to my car like, all right, let me, let me <laughs> just sit here for a minute minutes. before I go in the house or whatever, just gather my thoughts. I mean, every time I talk to you, I'm in the car. I just, <laughs> I need my peace, but I mean, it's definitely a high and a low. Um, because I definitely don't want to, you know, take away time from her. But at the same time, I'm exhausted. I just need my time. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's like kind of what spoiled mom was all about. Like that's when they found in like the perfect balance between everything. Like sure. how do you balance being a mom, a wife, a career person? How do you balance going to school and then still finding that time to like find time to go out with your friends? But then also making sure that you're doing self-care. Um, I think for me... Um, like that's not here. What we gonna get ourselves together? Oh, these nose. Yeah, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> we. I think that like it's it's definitely a balance. So I think that I have been really good. Like I or I live my life by a calendar anyway. So I kind of like I'm really organized, and I think that helps me like with my personal life and at work. So I think that's how I kind of live my life. So I'm always on time for stuff. I'm still like I pencil people in, and I, although it may seem like real chaotic or like maybe even crazy to some people that's how i keep my house sane my house sane that's how i keep myself sane that's how i'm able to still go to work spend time with my kids spend time with my husband have time for myself go out with my friends because it's sort of kind of like a good balance between all of the different things so i don't like that's not one of my struggles i don't know i don't live like by kind of i sort of much like pretty much do my own thing um the only thing that's sort of kind of like definitely pencils in is the fact that i have to go to work because yeah. i feel like that's sort of kind of an obligation along with being a mom but i don't feel like those things you can pencil in that's just something like that's a part of you you have to do but i don't know i feel like i don't really spend as much time as i would like with my son but i feel like being a new mom i think it works best for me if i grind grind now while he's so young and then by the time he's old enough to go to school I'm able to work one job and I have enough time accumulated where I can call out to go on school trips or attend right. functions and plays and whatever after school curricular activities that he'll have opposed to. I don't want to be that mom that when my kid is 15 and he's having an honors program, I can't take off of work. I right. have to be there. So mm -hmm. I feel like if I put myself in a space to work extra hard now, we'll be great by the time he's four or five and right. able to do other things. So you said, like, as a parent, you feel like because he's young, your baby's still under the age of one, mm -hmm. you feel like if you grind, grind, grind now, then, you know, when he's older, you'll be able to, like, take off and be there. You won't miss those moments. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when they're so young, right, mm -hmm. when they're so young and they're at that point where, like, you don't want to miss anything. You yeah. don't want to miss them. Like, we just went on vacation, all three of us, as a matter of fact, <laughs> and we were only <laughs> going for, what, time. five days? <laughs> and her son was walking by the time we came home. So it's just Literally, like... Literally, day two, he was off and doing his own And work. I mean, like, walking, walking. So I feel like those are some of the things that, yeah. like, you don't want to miss, and sometimes... You miss as being yeah. a worker parent or a parent who still wants to have a life and travel or if you want to spend time with your friends or have times like we miss and I feel like at this point it's at a point where we kind of have to pick and choose which some of which that or realize that as parents we are going to miss some of those things and it's just like 
by nature, we kind of have to prioritize. And I guess that's kind of what you did. Like, you rather miss some of these small moments so that when he is able to understand mm -hmm. that, you know, my mom isn't here, you know, right. at least it's not as so much of a thing for them. And I get a lot of mom guilt because my daughter, she is, like, such a little crybaby. Like, she she's me. <laughs> she needs me there at every little thing so like I find myself trying to work extra so mm -hmm. that when it comes time to you can have like a exactly I'll have yeah. I'll have that time so I can take off but then it's like I'm still missing time from you mm -hmm. just so I can come see you do a play and walk across the stage for two seconds and say mm -hmm. hi to mm -hmm. everybody but I mean it's hard and I need I mean, it's like, what can you do? You're exactly. Mom, right? Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mom, yo, even yo. if your kid isn't playing, like, my son plays soccer or plays baseball, and, like, even if, like, he's only swinging a bat or he's only on the field for three minutes, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you have to dedicate your mm -hmm. entire time for him to be out exactly. there. Or if they're in a play for two seconds, you yep. still have to dedicate your entire mm -hmm. time being okay. out there. I think one of the hardest things for me right now um, with being a mom is blending families. Um, I think that, and it's, and what I think the hard thing is that your kids, like my bonus babies, they come here and then they're at their parents' house, right? So there's like two or three different sets of wolves in the house. So it's like figuring out how do you find that medium ground of, okay, let's figure out what you're doing over there, what you can do, and then allow them to do here. But then it's like, that's not going to work because my kids are here mm -hmm. every single day. So they only have one set of rules. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't want them to be like looking like oh, okay well why can they do that and we can't do that so right. it's sort of kind of like well at this house this is how things go and i think that's kind of confusing for kids at the same time so i don't know i know you guys don't like i mean you have a blended family but you know maybe it's not you get those parents who are like weekend dads right mm -hmm. and your weekend dads I mean, we was there for the weekend mm -hmm. my bonus kids are my, my husband's not a weekend dad right. like we have the kids four days out of the week, sometimes five. So it's just like, you know, it's hard to kind of tell kids or try to get kids into multiple schedules. Whereas mm -hmm. adults, we may be able to do that, um, but it may be harder for kids to do it, especially if like the, ske the schedule fluctuates. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's like one of my challenges. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah. I, guess I, I mean, I guess it's just like a learning experience. I don't think that it's something that's like super hard. Mm -hmm. I think the parents more or less make those situations mm -hmm. hard and sure. not so much the children, children mm -hmm. right? Thank God for not having that. But mm -hmm. like how you were saying before about prioritizing and how Kia was saying like how she has mom guilt. I have mom guilt when I like want to go out and have a drink. Me and Kai get into the biggest of arguments. And it's like, it's just a drink. It's but you need that drink. sometimes. And he feels like, Oh, you always so tired, but when your friends call you and ask you to come have a drink after work, you go. And I was like, maybe like a month ago, so drunk because he made me so mad. And I had went off on him, like, I have to prioritize, like, yeah, I'm tired, but I still have to find time to be mm -hmm. myself. In between working two jobs and being a full-time mom, I have to sacrifice somewhere in order exactly. to still have a life and have friends. I have to sacrifice yeah. sleep, like, I have to say. And he doesn't use this like, well, if you're tired, you should go to bed. And it's like, okay, Pop Pop, you don't have any friends. You don't go out. So for okay, you, it's right. just like, I go to work, I see my kids, and I go to bed. But for me, I still want to have a life. So I have to sacrifice, and my yeah. sacrifice is sleep. We so, get into, like, the biggest of arguments about that. Yeah, Thomas and I have, like, had conversations about that. And I think, again, it's all about balance, right? And sometimes it's harder for us to do, to do that if, like, you work two jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Or if you are working and you are in school. So Thomas and I have had conversations, like, well, you always want to spend, like, when you get free time, you always want to spend your free time with your friends. And I don't think that is I want to spend my free, for, my free time with my friends, but... When I'm at work, I'm at work. Mm -hmm. When I'm home, you guys are here. Right, so right. whether or not we're spending quality time together, whether or not I'm cooking or I'm cleaning, I'm helping with homework, that's still time as me yeah. being a mom mm -hmm. or me being a wife. So when I want to step outside of that, mm -hmm. I want to step outside of that, not just at work. I want to okay, be able right, to right. step outside of being a mom mm -hmm. and a wife and just be able to be Kiara. Mm -hmm. So 
I think that like that may be hard for men to understand or maybe hard for people to understand where people in a perfect world well you're always a mom you're always wife no you're still like a person before mm -hmm. you were a mom and I think that that's one of the again one of the main reasons why spoil your mom is here like mm -hmm. it's finding that balance and allowing women to be guilt-free with being the person that who they are before they were a mom or before mm -hmm. they were married and being able to go and chase those goals or go and buy like People get mom guilt when they go buy themselves an outfit, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, I didn't give my baby anything. No, I don't feel that. Like, I don't I feel that. Y'all feel that? I don't feel that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that for myself. I feel like since I've had a son, I've done a whole lot more shopping for him than mm -hmm. I had to be, but only because I feel like I've been technically the same size for like the last five years. Mm -hmm. I have enough clothes where I don't have to go out and mm -hmm. buy an outfit every time I go out, but for me, now that I work two jobs, the last time that I really like got dressed up and did my hair was when we was on vacation. Like, I've literally been at work. I've probably went out once or twice since then, but it was with my coworkers. Not to say that they're not my girlfriends, but right. I don't talk to them about the things that right. I don't talk to you right. about. So it's like mediocre conversation, little mm -hmm. stuff about it at work. But it's like, oh, I'd rather just be out with my girls really having like a real conversation. Mm -hmm. So even mm -hmm. with finding that time, it's still not like, oh, I'm out with my girls and I can't just yeah. say what I want to. It's more or less like, oh, we're just going to have a drink because we work together and we got all okay, perfect. Like, have a drink, right? right. <laughs> and I'm still, even in that time, it's like, okay, it's getting ready to 10 o'clock. I got to go get my son. Mm -hmm. I ain't going home by a certain time. I got to be back up at 6, so. Mm -hmm. And they don't have all, all my, none of my coworkers except for one have kids, so they're all out like, oh, yeah. like oh, let's go to 2. And it's just like, you know, absolutely not. <laughs> 2, I'll be dead at 6, definitely yeah. not. I think that's like, I mean, we were going to save this for another topic, but I feel like while we're on it, we might as well talk about it. Like, the importance of having friends who are parents, right? Mm -hmm. The importance of mom groups. So, like, we get it. Like, I feel like we've been best friends forever, and there was one point in the time where I was a mom before her, so mm -hmm. the things that she wanted to do, I was unable to do. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, your friends who are not parents, they don't understand mm -hmm. that you have to prioritize or that, you know, finding a babysitter may not be easy. So, when you're able to go out, you go out but you need to make sure that whatever you're doing is going it's to be worth, worth it, it right. for you getting a babysitter. babysitter. That's how y'all story real fast. Oh, That's sure. something that done pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> really so it was not pay week so I was bringing in noodles and noodles stuff like that. Everybody wants to buy every um, day of the week and I'm like uh -huh, I don't got it we doing this. Some lady <laughs> had the audacity to ask me where my money went. <laughs> Wait, what? Now, now, I say, do you have kids? Do you have, like, any other responsibilities other than your cell phone? Don't ever ask me where right, my right. freak, my That's money is. business. Exactly. Right. I was pissed off. Business. Like, you don't know what I go through. You don't know, like, you just living for yourself. Yeah. I'm living for a whole uh, eight year old. Don't ever ask me that in your oh, spoiled eight year old. Exactly. 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 For your kids with everything, like your birthday sure. to come up. Let me figure out what we're doing for their birthday, or winter's coming up, or the summer's coming mm -hmm. up. What kind of vacations are we going? School supplies. We like as as moms, we think about all this stuff. And I'm not saying that dads don't, but like it's even if living yeah. in a two parent household, like. My husband don't worry about that kind of stuff That's until I tell him, like, okay, that kind of hey, I need money to buy these things. Well, I'm I'm watching this show, for women who aren't parents who are watching these shows, moms have a magic. When school comes, the dad just sees school supplies and clothes here. They don't think about the fact that somebody had to go out mm -hmm. and buy these clothes and buy these supplies. Even small stuff is like just taking your kids to the doctor's. Dads don't think about the fact that somebody remembered this social security number. Somebody remembered this birthday. Like, things like that, I don't think that men think about. They just feel so like, oh, it's here. So, I wouldn't go as far as, like, and I, I think that every man is different. But, like, Thomas is a very, very hands-on man. Like, he's a very, very hands-on dad. So, when it comes to those parent conferences, those plays, the extracurricular activities, the doctor, he doesn't miss all of that. Mind you, there's five children. He doesn't mm -hmm. miss any of that for any of the kids. And I 
I think that like that's just him being on his P's and Q's. So yes, he may have to like be reminded or he may have to set a reminder on his phone or even if like I've seen him go from two like three or four of our kids having something on the same exact day at the same exact time but he has to be at work and i've still seen him make it happen mm -hmm. even if he's like it's just him allowing the kid to see his face and then he's like in and out so right. i wouldn't say like all dads don't have that common knowledge no, not, but there's not some, all but there's still that stuff where he's so good at that but he's still not thinking of like you know those things that like moms think about or how it's going to happen like I don't know. I just think that there's a certain magic, like you said. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I went a little far with like social security and stuff, but I feel like when I <laughs> but say I'm pretty magic, sure he doesn't know any of his kids. But when I'm saying like magic, magic, I feel like a dad, like even a, a great father will know like, oh, the winners come, you know, these kids mm -hmm. need shoes and they'll take them to the shoe store and it's like, shit. I gotta call mom to see what's I mean, Like moms know stuff like that mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, dad's the great dad because he's taking them to get it, but he still doesn't know mm -hmm. what size these kids wear. Like stuff yeah. like that. I feel like magic because they keep up with that kind of stuff because I feel like you know that you don't have a choice. You have yeah. to know that kind of stuff. Yeah. So we've like talked about some of the challenges and stuff like that. What are your joys about being a mom? My joy is that my daughter is just such a mini me and like she is me. She's stunning just like me. She has the same attitude as me. She's so beautiful and smart. It's just amazing just looking at something that I created that's me. <laughs> That's why it's amazing as it's here. I love her. Oh my goodness. And then I her. think it's funny because. And also, let me, let me, sorry to cut you off, but my daughter, like, she knows me so well, obviously. That's literally like my yeah, best friend. Does. Yeah, yeah, she really like, does. Like, that's literally like my best friend. Like, she can tell if I got an attitude, if I'm upset, whatever. Because if I'm upset, she's literally on my side the entire time and just making sure her mother's okay. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because, like, all of us have, like, different Daddy. age babies, right? So, like, TJ's five, and I think, like, he, him and Zaire have, like, two different totally personalities, right? TJ's, like, my preppy, like, science guy. Meanwhile, Zaire is, like, I don't know. He's, like, a little rougher. He's, like, a boy's boy, right? Mm -hmm. So, but they both like our mom's boys right they both are really mommy's boys they both um i don't know like they're both just really sweet i feel like they kind of have their personality like my personality of me like being really really nice and really really sweet they're both really intelligent but i just think that like boys love their moms mm -hmm. hard mm -hmm. and i never understood like I didn't grow up with boys, so I didn't understand, like, that whole daddy's girl, mama's boy thing. That is a real thing. And no matter how much I want a girl, I think that my boys, like, they think, yeah, they think I'm glitter and gold. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I love that. Like, I look forward, even when I'm mad or even whatever, like, even when I don't want to be bothered or whatever, and I can come in the house and say, it's like, I want to cuddle, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like, he makes my heart melt, or if he does something wrong to me, and, like, I'm like, ouch, you hurt my feelings, and then he'll, like, start crying, or, <laughs> like, he wants a hug or a kiss to try to make me feel better. I think it's just, like, I don't know, and kids are themselves, right? So, they're young, mm -hmm. they don't understand anything else, so I like to watch, like, my kids go through these different stages, like, wow, you're really doing this, like, TJ's in kindergarten, so for him to have a report card, it's like, what a progress report it's like oh my god I can remember like I'm the mom who like first of all I look at my own pictures and stalk my own self so I'm definitely the mom <laughs> who like looks through like my kids pictures okay. like oh my goodness look at this picture or whatever so yeah I guess it's different like being a new mom I never really got like People talk about their kids all the time. It's like, shut up. We know that he's 182 days old. Like, you to tell me. And now that it's my own son, like, my son's birthday about to come up, and it's like, oh, like, in, like, 14 days, my son's going to be, like, a whole yeah. year. And guys, like, are you looking at the calendar? And I'm, like, so the kind of, like, right. I can't believe, like, my son's going to be one. I'm, like, I feel like I was just pacing back and forth in the hospital, like, about to have him. And, and like, it's funny that you say that because you were definitely the, that mom that, like, my son is – Three days old and 16 hours. And I'm just like, good Lord. It's like so weird to see other people do it. But I do it with my own son now. So it's like, I guess it's just a thing. And I, like, even I, somebody that we went to school with, I can't even think her name, we're like friends on Facebook. She has like four kids now. 
But everything she posts is like such and such is two years and three days old and such and such is six days old and look how they look alike. And I'm like, oh my God, am I that mom? Because this is annoying. <laughs> like we you know that, that they're your kids. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I don't know, it's just so weird. Like I guess my joys is really watching him become his own person. Like mm -hmm. just even thinking about him being TJ's age, like how you spend so much time prepping this kid, helping him learn the mm -hmm. name, helping him tie these shoes, and to see them go off to school and like really excel. Like I feel like that's a joy to know that mm -hmm. I helped him become this person. Exactly. I helped him start this academic career. Like I feel like those kind of things are what sort of kind of pays off. Yeah. Like even seeing my son walk, it's like, oh like you're person you're about to pay me on lunch mm -hmm. and just go off to school like by yourself you and then they have opinions the right once oh, yeah. they have opinions and it's just too like much of an opinion. who is this real person like i think that like working with kids and being a mom i feel like i realized that like kids are like little humans and i think they're growing up like my parents and my friends' parents, my cousins, my aunts and uncles, like, they looked at kids as, like, do as I say, Saying right? I right, and I think that with me, like, when I really, like, I don't think that my parents, like, really talked to me. I had, like, real conversations with me, kind of figured out what my opinion was or whatever until I got older. Our parents talked to us and right. with mm -hmm. us. Right, so now that I have a five-year-old and I'm seeing that, like, he has an opinion mm -hmm. and he kind of... Oh, I, I don't really enjoy that. Or, right. like, and that's how TJ talks. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really enjoy that. I don't think that this is a good idea. It's like, I have to catch myself like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, mm -hmm. as an adult, as, a, as your mom, I feel like, yeah, this is what we're doing. And then for you to say like, oh, no, that's not a good idea. Or I'm not interested in that. No, this, this is not really going to sit well with me. It's just like, <laughs> I hear that. And it's just like, okay, now I have to kind of maneuver around him. And I don't think that like us growing up that's what our parents yeah, were right. for us so it's like you eat what i say eat or you starve mm -hmm. right what i say mm -hmm. do or you're bored like my parents have <laughs> always been and i kind of find myself like being my mom right and i find myself like saying the same thing she said and it's just like damn i'm really a mom like mm -hmm. i'm really like now that i see myself turning into my mom it's sort of kind of like yeah i'm really an adult mm -hmm. but it's then those things where like i remember as a kid like shh, this get on my nerves so i try to like tell her that stuff and kind of, you know, tweak it to make sure that, like, that same principle was coming across, but my approach is different. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting that, like, although, you know, I have all these kids or whatever, like, as they grow, it's like I'm growing too, so mm -hmm. we have to kind of, like, be mindful of that, of how we treat our kids and what we say to them and how mm -hmm. we talk to them. And even the whole idea of, like, kids getting a spanking now, like, my parents, like, my parents believed in spankings, although I was a girl, and although I was a good child, like, I didn't, a you know, yeah. my parents beat the sh <laughs> yeah, so, I, I mean, was but I was a good, I was a good kid, so it wasn't like, I, I didn't experience that, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. like, I was a straight-A student, and I've never even been suspended, so I've never experienced that, and I see that in TJ, like, I don't think TJ's going to give me like any problems or do any of those things like in school so like yeah he might have to get popped or something like that if i think like his mouth is going like over overboard but for the most part like i feel like once you talk to your kids or figure out how your kids are i think it's a different approach whereas though me growing up i feel like my parents just was like, or parents around that age when we were growing up was just like, oh no, just beat your kid. Like, that's what your mm -hmm. kid need, beat your kid. When mm -hmm. in reality, like, I'm figuring out and I'm learning, like, just by talking to my kids or mm -hmm. talking to the kids I worked with, talking to my children, like, that's not always the answer. So, it's definitely not always the answer. Cool. There was one mm -hmm. time that I gave Zanaya a beating for something because she, I'm, she's me. She has like a smart little mouth. And I gave her a beating and she said to me, <laughs> That didn't hurt. <laughs> so, I had to gather my thoughts like, okay, what am I going to do here? I'm going to me a switch. <laughs> what am I going to do, do here? So I had to, I, I'm not going to lie, I let her walk away. So I had to sit there like this a little bit. Sit there, cut that out. <laughs> I would have had to give me a switch, but I, I guess that really is like a real thing how some kids just don't respond mm -hmm. to certain things. Mm -hmm. It's like I had to take something them. from her yeah. mm -hmm. instead of doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's crazy. Some kids just don't yeah, crazy. respond to things the same way. Like, I hit Kai earlier, and he just looked and just went on about his day. And I was like, what's happening? Like, I say, come here. He's just, like, going on about his day. And I was like, this kid is horrible. I'm like, you can barely talk, and you're giving me anxiety. <laughs> like, what's happening? Like, why is this a thing? You're not even one. 
Oh, he grinds my gears like nobody's business. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. The challenges and joys of being a parent, right? Girl, and it's so crazy mm -hmm. because just like I keep saying, as an I as me, so having a younger me, I can't take it. Like, mm -hmm. me, you mm -hmm. can't be around for so mm -hmm. long. Me and her. You get back with your like, parents. What? What? This me, is this me? How do I deal with myself? It's horrible. So I can't wait just for a son. I'm like, I can't wait to have a baby, baby. All the hard work you did to me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm not being bad type. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm 100% fine with it because I felt like I was a good kid. So then I get like Zaire, who I forget that he has a whole different parent, right? So right. it's just like, now we have to figure out like what Keep. he's going to get or what yes, he's going to do within that. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's kind of fun. Keep you guys up. can tell us what your joys and what your challenges are of being a parent. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.